everybody and welcome back to Book Nook's online story time. Today we'll be reading This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago and he knew, just knew, that it was meant to be his. He thought he would call him Marcel. He's putting a name tag on him. He began following Marcel, explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. Much of the time it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening, but Wilfred knew he was, mostly because he followed rule four very well, not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. Sometimes the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored rule seven, going whichever way Wilfred wanted to go. The moose had a very good sense of direction and Wilfred did not. And because the moose was particularly poor on rule seven, section B, maintaining a certain proximity to home, Wilfred quickly learned to bring some string along on their outings so he could find his way back again. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with rule 11, providing shelter from the rain. Or rule 16, knocking down things that are out of Wilfred's reach. Good work! One day, as Wilfred discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Someone else thought she owned the moose. Rodrigo, you're back. Wilfred was dumbstruck. This moose was Marcel, not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken, and Wilfred thought it only proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me, he explained. And to prove it, he called Marcel. Heel. But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Good, Rodrigo. What is she feeding him? I think he really likes the apples. Embarrassed and enraged, Wilfred rushed off for home. Fine. But in his haste and miles from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. And there he lay, oh, poor Wilfred. Wilfred was beginning to get a little bit worried. It was getting late and the monsters would be out soon. He had just ruled out the last of his options. When along came the moose and performed rule 73 brilliantly rescuing your owner from perilous situations. <gasps> he saved Wilfred. All was forgiven, and perhaps Wilfred admitted he'd never really owned the moose anyway. With that in mind, he and the moose reach a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilfred's rules whenever it suited him. Dominic, you're back and you brought me an apple. 